So big result that, what did you make of the performance? Oh, it was a great performance. Uh, I thought Jack wouldn't start, I'd start on the bench to be honest with you because he's just come back after three months. But saying that, he came on and he was literally the game changer. Yeah, uh, fantastic first half. Um, the, the damage was done all, you know, by half time. So uh, yeah, can't ask for anything more. Yeah, and, uh, you know, just shows you without, uh, without Grealish what we've been lacking. Unbelievable, fantastic performance. I think the game was all about Grealish's goal and what a difference he made to the, the team coming back. It was just chalk and cheese the way we've been playing, I think. I know it was a lot better today, um, but the thing is, you know, Grealish is back. But they, the big thing was Horham played a lot for the forward and it just shows that why haven't they not done that before, you know. It, it makes a lot more sense, it would have made a lot more sense, you know, Whelan playing there and then McGinn and Horham pushing further forward because Abraham didn't look so isolated. I mean, the defence did what they need to do. Derby looked really poor, to be honest. One of the worst teams I've seen here this season. Um, but on the basis of it, it's still not enough really for promotion and for the playoffs. It's kind of papers over the cracks of the, you know, what's been a really poor sort of 16 minute game. So only run three and 16, it's not a very good reading. But obviously, a great result and positive. And I mean, mathematically, it's still possible, so you still got to believe in it. I mean, quite a goal, wasn't it, that fourth one? Oh, you know what? After the third one, I went to the bar and I thought to myself, I'm going to start the half-time celebration, and then I got to the bar and I sent the goal going. It was absolutely ecstatic. Great stuff. Fantastic, yeah. And I thought Whelan was excellent as well. That's for Torah. Uh, I thought the midfield three were fantastic. John McGinn's going to have a bit of a battle to get back in the side, I would imagine, after that. But um, no, it was a fantastic performance. So, yeah, we'll take that all day long. Unbelievable. I've seen him hit it and I wonder where he went next year. I've seen him buried in the back of the goal. Unbelievable. I mean, what a great assist from Whelan to pinpoint accuracy. The defender in front of him knew just over his head, and you can't really say much else about that goal. It's literally just Jack, because uh, we went, I wouldn't say we're a one man side, but he made a massive, massive difference. And you could see what we've been lacking in the last three months while he's been out. We've been hardly creating any chances, and literally he came back and he made all the difference. So if we can keep him fit, in my head, I think we've got to win 10 out of 13 games. We've done one, another. Yeah, because we've got control in the centre of the field, haven't we? It's been a shambles, haven't it, for the last 12 games or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, can they make the playoffs, do you think? Uh, if we win 10 out of 13, which we've done one, so we need to be another nine more, I reckon. We maybe have an outside chance, but it's, it's still going to be hard. Well, I'm confident we'll beat uh, Birmingham City, that's for sure. Um, but uh, you never know. We've got to, we've, I think we've got to win the next 10 or 11 games, really, to stand much of a chance, but uh, we'll give it the best, best shot. Thank you, lads, are, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, we're, it's we're, doable. yeah. I, th I think it's it's just possible we could do the impossible and, and get into the uh, to the top four. Yeah, it's gonna be very tight. It's I mean, yeah. but it's it's, it's doable. Fair, but but you say six points behind Bristol City, but they've got a game in hand, and their game in hand's against the worst team in the league. So it's yeah, so realistically, it probably is nine points, which, and then you've still got. Yeah, you know, four or five teams. I know whole one today. So there's still, you know, there's still another few teams ahead of us. The thing is, I mean, like I said to him, if they beat, they beat the Blues and then Forest and then Middlesbrough, then you can start to believe us both. But it's a big if.